shoot this video as another helping aid for those with the beloved Chevy small block problems. Sorry my garage is insanely dark. My shop lights don't want to work in the cold weather. But we we're talking I was talking earlier today about vacuum lines and what you need on a Chevy small block. And given that you don't have special pollution control or fuel injection and you have your standard carburetor, there's only a couple lines that you really need off of your carburetor. The rest of them should be plugged if you're not going to use them. Um, as you can see, I have a plug off of this vacuum line right here, and they sell them. They're just little cheap plastic caps. The other thing that you can do is just take the hose, cut the hose and put a screw in it. It's ugly, but it'll it'll work for you. I have many of vehicles that had those. One of the lines that you'll have coming off your carburetor is your PVC, PCV line. You'll have a line that goes to your vacuum advance. Just one runs back to my vacuum advance on my distributor. Just poured it off the front. Now this is an Edelbrock, otherwise known as an Edel Junk, uh, Edel Broke. Uh, a couple other names for it. And back here on the back. You can see that black metal line right here. That runs to my brakes, to the air booster. You don't necessarily need that if you're not running air boosted brakes. However, you should be prepared to stand on them pedals to stop if you're uh, not using them. I've seen a couple people take them off and had to stand on them. So I mean that's your major. You want your vacuum advance, you want your PVC, PCV, excuse me. You want your brake line and the rest of them can pretty much be plugged up unless you have some special something or other on it. Uh your idle is mainly set there's a stopping screw, which I can show you in another carburetor in a minute, that is uh, controls your fast idle. And your mixture is controlled up front by your jets. But those are the three main ones that you need. Uh, like I said, I was talking to somebody earlier today about it, and I thought this video might help them. And the other thing, <coughs> since I was talking about timing, I was talking about turning the engine back instead of just bumping the key inside to get it to turn over. Uh, I have timing videos on here. So you can see the bottom pulley uh, on the crank. You can actually get a ratchet down in there with an extension on it and you can turn the engine backwards by hand when you're trying to get your... sorry my phone's ringing. When you're trying to get your uh, piston top dead center one of the easier ways to do it is to take and uh, get a socket down on there. It can be a pain around the fan. And use that to turn your engine back and forth to get your piston up top dead center. And while I'm talking about timing in advance, right back here, I gotta tie my wiring up. This lovely piece of equipment right here with the hose coming off of it is your vacuum advance canister. Most of the times you pull this hose off, which it's freezing outside so I'm not going to do it because I'm afraid I'll split the hose. And inside there you can fit a little Allen wrench down in, the, down in the port and that's how you adjust your vacuum advance. Turning it out and pushing it in. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail today because I'm freezing for one, but if you get pinging going down the road at high speeds or you have a flat spot and everything else is running fine and you just did your vacuum change your distributor or something you want to check your vacuum advance
But now I'll go over to another carburetor that I already have out, and I can uh, go in a little more detail on certain things. But this is a 327 in my Nova, and uh, hopefully this video helps somebody. I'll get the other carburetor out here in a second. Alright, over here I have the other carburetor. This is a uh, Rochester. They're what makes the uh, Quadra Jet or Quadra Junk. A couple other names for that carburetor. This is a little 2-Jet. Two, two uh, it was off a of 305. But I can show the airlines on here a little easier. This would be where that brake line, the big black line, comes out. And this is set up a little different than the Edelbrocks. And as you see, I have this vacuum line capped. The end of this vacuum line is capped. This, I ran the vacuum advance off of. Uh, this on top, I had a breather filter on a special breather that went off of that. Otherwise, I would have plugged that up. On front here, you have your uh, fuel inlet, where your fuel line goes in. And down here, was where my PV, PCV line ran off of. Once again, the three major ones that you need hooked up. Uh, pretty much everything else was capped. This is this is a little bit different because it's a Rochester, and uh, it's actually set up for a manual choke. I used to have a 305 in the Nova before I put the 327 in. The idle is a lot easier to see on this one. This is the stop screw. As you can see, when you pull it back, that's when you would give your car gas. And the tighter you tighten the screw in, the farther out it is. So the more constant feed you have in your engine. And the lower you put it in, the less feed you have in your engine. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's your fast idle screw. And this is actually, this cam originally moved because it was part of a heat coil in the choke. But since it's manual, I locked it into place. And then the jets on this. Are up front here. Here. And here. It's hard to see with my shop lights. Um, as far as the jets go, I've always, if you have to set your jets, I've always had the best luck turning them, uh, tighten them all the way in and then turn them out four turns and start from there and work your way from lean to rich as far as uh, your fuel mixture goes and fast idles are pretty easy you can pretty much just tighten the screw in and watch your RPM tack and get it set where you needed but this carburetor is a little different but once again you have your brake this ran to my breather cover on mine I had another uh, little heat tube in it, so it would open up. And my vacuum advance off of that. PCV was off the front. And then your fuel line. 